It's only air, but it's what Rojo does with it that makes the world of difference. Kyle Bradshaw here with this week's Cruiser Customizing Tip of the Week, where we're going to be working with Greg Beck from Tucker Rocky, talking about Airhawk seat cushions. Airhawk seat cushion is an alternative to replacing your stock or aftermarket seat if you find that you need a little bit more cushion, a little bit more comfort for the long haul. Now, Airhawk's been in the motorcycle industry for several years, but how'd they get their start, Greg? They started by making pads for people in hospitals. You know, in the motorcycle industry, people get uncomfortable because their tailbone has pressure or different parts of their anatomy have more pressure than other parts. So basically you get a hot spot, you get a, a pressure point there. And that's what makes the Airhawk different than any other solution out there. A gel pad, a foam pad, a sheepskin, anything like that is still going to give you pressure points. The pressure mapping photos shown here show the difference between a conventional seat cushion and one using shape fitting technology. The red and yellow areas in the first photo highlight uncomfortable pressure points. However, the second photo shows the Rojo cushion and how it redistributes the pressure over the entire surface area, allowing better blood circulation and ultimately more comfort. What I'd like you to notice here are the small interconnected air cells that evenly distribute your weight and pressure over the whole motorcycle seat cushion, reducing hot spots that cause pain. The air cells also work as mini shock absorbers, reducing vibration. Now, the most common complaint is that they still have pressure points. And that's usually due to the fact that the air hawk is not inflated correctly or more appropriately deflated correctly. As a matter of fact, the biggest mistake is to have too much air in it because then you'll just roll around on it. We have the air hawk seat cushion inflated. Now, in order to find the perfect amount of air for this air hawk, you're going to want to inflate it. You're going to want to sit on your motorcycle and then you're going to let some air out by twisting the knob until I can just barely start to feel my body touch the seat and then I'm going to close it off. What this now is doing is it's allowing me an air cushion that anywhere that I move is going to compensate. And now I don't have any specific part of my body that has more pressure on it. It's distributed evenly across the whole ass end of my buttocks. Another feature of the Airhawk seat cushion is the cover. It reduces the amount of heat built up between your posterior and your motorcycle seat. Open mesh side panels allow air to circulate between the air cells and out of the side of the seat cushion, reducing heat buildup, keeping you cool and dry. Here in front of me, I have the medium cruiser pad from Airhawk. What I'd like to do now is open this box and show you the contents of the large pad to show you exactly what comes with your Airhawk seat cushion. This here is a large cruiser pad. This here is the Airhawk seat cover. In addition to the seat cushion and the cover, you're going to receive two straps, one going in the front and one going in the rear, which will hold this cushion to your motorcycle seat. It's only air, but it's what Rojo does with it that makes the world of difference. Once you've tried it, you won't ride without it. Thank you for watching this week's Cruiser Customizing Tip of the Week. Until next week, take care and ride safe.